Hi, my name is Rebecca. Welcome to Chair Yoga. Make sure that you're cleared by your physician to exercise, that you have a nice, steady, firm chair without arms, that you have water, easy to reach, and that you support yourself as you reach over to the side to get it, that your floor is clear of obstructions, that you have on closed toed shoes, closed heel shoes, you're comfortably dressed, the air is comfortable, and that you have your phone nearby in case of emergency. Let's get started. Close your eyes and just breathe. Nice, slow, deep, even breaths. Feel a sense of calmness. Slowly let those eyes open, bring the shoulders up toward the ears and then slowly down. And then bring the shoulders slowly forward as we round the spine. Pull back, open and lift the chest. Lift the shoulders toward the ears. Slowly pull down. Round the shoulders forward. And then sit up nice and tall, lift the chest. Exhale. The chest lifted and the shoulders back and just circle around the upper body with a nice straight spine. Reverse those circles. One more nice circle. And come to the center. We're going to scoot back a little bit in our chair and then widen our stance. Take both hands, pressing over to the left, and then switch and press over to the right. So we're pressing, we're also leaning. And let that head sway gently.
almost like we're pushing wet sand to one side and then the other. So we want to make sure we're going slowly with resistance. What does that mean? So I'm not doing this really fast and not engaging my body. I'm deliberately pushing to the side and then flipping and pushing back. And then coming back to center. Lifting our right hand, taking it down and across to the inside of that left knee and lift back up. And let's let our gaze follow the hand, looking up and then following it down and across. Allow that hand to float down and then switching sides, reaching up with that left hand, taking it down and across to the inside of the right knee. Nice, slow, smooth movements. And again, if we'd like to follow with our eyes. And then release down. We're going to walk those feet heel toe, heel toe in, and then move back toward the edge of our seat. Circle the arms down in front of the shins, keeping the head above the heart, and then reaching up overhead. Think about moving with our breath. Inhale as we lift and open the body. Exhale, push that air out as we lean forward. Excellent. to stay in that leaning forward position just relax those arms turn the head from side to side and then nodding slowly yes Bring the hands to the thighs, slowly adjust back up, lift the head slowly. Take a little step out with each foot. Bring the chest forward and through, and then push the spine back and tuck the chin. Inhale, pull forward. Exhale, round the spine, push back. Let's do a few more. And coming to a neutral spine. We're going to reach forward with the arms and lean forward. Make sure you're firmly on the chair and then pull back and lean back almost to that chair back support. You might think of rowing. And 
And remember to always listen to our body. Never do anything that's contraindicated for you. We're going to come to a neutral position. Lift the arms up overhead. Pull down and apart. Again, if you have shoulder issues, you might not want to go above the head, and that's okay. Relax those arms all the way down and in with a nice shoulder roll or two. Maybe three. Third time's the charm, right? Turn those palms away from us. Lightly touch the shoulders and release. Now extend those arms out from the shoulders, palms facing down, lift the palms and lower. Now let's turn the palms all the way to face the back and engage in tiny little presses. And relax the arms, once again, roll those shoulders. And then taking our left hand, spread the fingers, open the palm, press that arm straight back, and then let's gaze to the right. Slowly turn back to the front, relax that arm, and then same thing, other arm presses back. Now we're gazing over to the left. Make sure you're open through the palms, spreading the fingers. Turn back to the front, release and relax. Let's shake things out. I'm going to get a drink of water. Maybe you'd like one too. Feel free to drink water whenever you want it. Then we're going to come back to our chair, but we're going to scoot back a little bit once again, widening that stance. We're going to lower one shoulder down as we push that leg open gently and look up over the opposite shoulder. Lift back to center. Same thing with the other side, gently pressing that leg open as we drop the opposite shoulder and look up. Returning to that center position. We're going to lean over gently on that right leg and reach up at the left arm. As we pull the arm down, we're going to pull it down toward the leg and lean to that side. Reach up with the right arm. Pull the right arm down to the right leg. Pull the left arm down to the left leg. And we're just going to alternate reaching up. Nice big stretch through the obliques. That's the side of the body.
can come back to a neutral position. Bring those legs back in, make our way back toward the edge of the chair, but still firmly on the chair. We never want to feel like we're about to tip out of the chair. Reaching up with one arm, down with the opposite. And then switch. Coming into center, lightly touching the shoulders, rounding the spine, extend the arms forward as we gaze downward. Think about separating those shoulder blades and pushing those shoulders forward. Palms up, pull back with our thumbs as we lift the chest and the head. Pull back, feel that opening in the biceps, open through the chest. It should feel really nice. And relax, release, and roll the shoulders. Taking our right hand across, gentle spinal twist, reaching back with the left hand, and twist. Slowly release, come back to center. And as you may have guessed, now we're gonna twist gently to the right. And return back to center. Lift the toes, lift the ankles. Now step gently out with that right foot, and then we're going to touch the side of the foot, outside and inside. Bring that leg back in, step out gently with the opposite leg. Touch the outside, inside. Alternating knee lifts. You can hold on to the side of the chair, hold on to your waist, or you can use that arm to bring the leg in closer, either pulling gently under the thigh or around the shin. It's up to you. Take your time. Never forcing anything, never to the point of pain. Just nice, slow, gentle movements. And let's go one more on each leg. and release and just shake those legs out a little bit. I don't know about you, but I'm ready for another drink. And then coming back to center. We're gonna step forward a little bit with the right foot, heel, then toe, then we're gonna lean forward and punch gently with the left hand. Then we're gonna bring that left hand palm up back and we're gonna peel that foot up, toe up, heel up, step back. Other side, heel toe, lean forward, reaching with the right fist, turn that palm up, pull back, toe heel and lift back. A little bit faster, but still a very slow and steady movement.
doing just fine. Sometimes it can be hard to coordinate to do the opposite arm and the leg. So just look down and see if you're there. If not, just work on it. It's a mental exercise. And let's do two more each leg. Then come back, release, shake things out gently, do some wrist rotations, shake the legs. We're going to do our seated chair position, which is handy because we're already seated in a chair. So we're going to get those feet comfortably out in front of us and more comfortable but near the edge of the chair. And we're just going to lift our arms. And basic position is having those arms at shoulder height. A little more challenging would be to lift up on a diagonal. Now be careful because sometimes when we lift up on a diagonal, we tend to shrug the shoulders down. We don't want to do that. So think about keeping those shoulders down away from the ears, whether we're lifted here or on the diagonal. So you should be able to see a difference between this and this. Okay? Holding either that angle or straight out from the shoulders, we're going to lower the right arm, keeping the left hand steady, until the right arm makes its way back. And so we're just alternating one arm in front, one arm in back, like ships passing in the night. back once more with the right arm, once more with the left arm, and just hold that right arm in place until we bring that left arm back up, and then let's come into prayer at heart center, making sure elbows are always lower than the wrists. Then we're going to point those fingertips forward, reach forward, and then separate the hands, palms up, pull back. Turn those palms, open the fingers, tiny presses forward this time. Relax those arms, relax the fingers, roll the shoulders, shake things out. Awesome. I'm going to get another drink. To make sure we're always well hydrated. So now we're going to stay in our seat, but we're going to turn in our seat to face the right. And then we're going to bring that front knee down. So we've got both knees bent. We can hold on to the back of the chair for balance. We're going to reach straight up that front arm. Lower that arm out in front of you, straight out from the shoulder and hold. Without turning the body, we're just going to bring that arm toward the chair. You might not reach it, just reach across the chest toward it.
Now, if you can, continue to twist through the upper body, maybe holding on with both hands to the chair, and look over that back shoulder. Then slowly turn back, palm up, and reaching toward the front of the room or to your TV or your monitor. Lower the arm down toward our side, turn the palm to face back, press the palm back. And relax the arm and then step the leg in, come back to the front and just shake things out. Nice and loose, roll the shoulders, do a little spinal twist, whatever feels good to shake it out for you. And we're going to turn in the opposite direction. Lower that front knee, hold on to the chair for balance and reach up. Start to lower the arm straight out in front of us. <clears throat> Excuse me. Bring that arm across the chest without turning the upper body. Now twisting toward the back of the chair, maybe hold on with both hands and looking over that back shoulder. And then slowly bring that arm back straight out into the front. Release that arm down to our side, turn the palm back, press back and hold. And release and turn back to the front and shake things out, get some water if you'd like. After you've had your water, we're gonna stand up. If you don't wanna stand up, you can feel free to just jump ahead on the video. So let's come behind our chair. We we'll want to center the left foot between the legs of the chair, holding onto the chair, and we're just going to tap the right foot out to the side. Whenever you're ready, we're going to lift and lower this right leg. As you tap the floor, try to keep the weight centered on the left leg. So we aren't doing this. We're not swinging. We're not putting weight on that leg. Just a nice little tap to let us know the floor is there. Very nice, bring that in, march in place, kind of walk it out, shake those hips a little bit. Then we're gonna center that right foot, tap the left foot out. Whenever you're ready, lift and lower, keeping our weight as centered as possible.
Let's do one more. Nice. Bring it in. Release. Walk it out. Shake those hips a little bit. And now we're going to lift our knee, but we're going to try to open the hips by lifting out. So we're trying to reach the leg toward the outside of the chair. Take your time. There's no reason to hurry. If I'm going too fast for you, you just go at your own pace. Let's do one more each side. And then shake it out, wiggle it out. We're going to go back to those side leg lifts. I'm going to challenge you, if you don't need that chair for support, see if you can let go or maybe just come to a fingertip or two on that chair for balance. Sometimes mentally we just want some connection with the chair, but our balance is good enough we don't actually physically need it. So we're centering that left foot, tapping the right foot out, and then just start to lift and lower. Again, if we need the chair for balance, we're going to hold on to it. Maybe see if you can come to maybe one finger on each hand, maybe just one finger all together, or some of us may be able to come into prayer. Last one. Very nice. Did you challenge yourself? Maybe just try it for one repetition. Centering that right foot, tapping the left foot out. And we're just going to lift and lower like we did earlier. Decide what you want to do with your hands, how much support we actually need from the chair. And you're probably going to find your balance is better on one side than the other. Let's do two more. Very nice. Walk it out. Making our way over to the right side of our chair. We're standing tall beside our chair. We never want to lean our hips into the chair, so make sure you have some distance. You can have the hand on the chair for balance if we'd like. We're going to take our outside leg, and we're going to tap to the front and bring it back in. Tap to the front. Two more. And a little shake out. Making our way to the other side, I'm going to slide my chair over just so I have some room to stay off the carpet. And then take that outside leg, tap forward, and then step back. Go once more, and then we go shake it out. Make our way back to that other side. Now we're going to tap the outside leg behind us. Tap, bring it in. Now far enough away from the chair that I'm not leaning into it with my hip. And release. Take it to the other side. Outside leg. Behind us and tap. One more. Nice. And release. And come back to the other side. 
This time, we're going to take our leg to the front and then to the back. So forward and then back. You may find it comfortable for you to swing your arm opposite the leg. And then come back to center. Let us shift it out and walk it back to the other side. So we're getting some of our steps in by alternating sides. All right? How many of you count your steps? It's a nice little gauge to make sure that you're getting in some activity. And release. Now coming back behind our chair. We're going to actually step our feet wider than our chair if we can. And we're going to bend the knees. We want to make sure that the knees and the toes are facing the same direction. As we bend the knees, the hips necessarily lower. We're keeping our chest behind that chair back. So it's a nice wide squat. Last one. Then bring it in, a little shake out. We're going to do that same thing again. You have now the opportunity to challenge your balance by maybe not gripping the chair so hard, maybe coming to a finger on each hand, or maybe releasing it all together. So let's get into position first. Nice wide stance, heels in, toes and knees are facing outward. You might want to start with the chair and get that familiar movement and then maybe see if you can release to a finger or two maybe just one finger or some of you can come into prayer maybe still there are others of you that can do a little bit more movement so we can stretch those arms out bring the elbows in as we bend the knees and then reach out think about separating the fingers and opening the palms again i'm not leaning forward with my upper body Last one, we've done several. Relax those arms if they're lifted. Walk those feet in. Roll the shoulders, shake the hips. Come over to either side of your chair, doesn't matter which. And we're just gonna circle our hips. Reversing those circles. And then shake it out and have a seat. If you've not had any water in a little while, step over to the side, get some. Make sure if you want water from a standing position, that when you lean over to get it, you still keep your head above the heart. Let's just loosen up through those legs a little bit. Sitting near the edge of the chair, but firmly in the chair. We're going to take that right ankle and we're just going to cross it over the left ankle. So we're letting that knee drape open, which is opening us up through the hips. We're just going to relax the hand into our prayer position.
Release the hands and then guide the legs. Now taking the left leg, crossing the ankle, allowing the knee to drape open, letting the weight of the leg help us open through the hips. And come into prayer and just relax here. Release the hands, release the legs, shake, wiggle it out. You can tell I like to wiggle. I always like to loosen things up. Okay, we're going to do that again. I'm going to give you an option if you'd like a little bit deeper stretch, but no one should feel forced or pressured into taking that next step. So option one is what we just previously did, crossing at the ankle, coming into prayer. Just hold here. If you'd like a little bit more stretch and you feel like you are firmly on that chair, you can just lean forward. So hinging forward just a little bit, you'll feel this leg engage more to keep us seated, but you might find it a little more of a stretch. If you're leaning forward, go ahead and sit back. We'll all release our legs, give them a little shake out. Other side. So remembering our first option is here. We'd like a little bit more. We have that option just to lean forward. Hinging forward. If you're leaning forward, sit up. Release those legs, shake it out. We're going to bring that right knee in. So if we're not already at the edge of our chair, make our way there. Bring the right knee in. Give it a nice squeeze. And then we're going to release it out long. Heel down. Lean forward onto the left leg. Keeping the head above the heart. Think about pulling those toes back toward the shin. And then pressing up. Guiding that knee back in. Give it a nice little squeeze, a little hug. Extend it out. Heel down. Toes up. Lean forward. Pressing up, pulling that knee into the chest, give it a nice little hug. Extend, heel down, toes back, lean forward. And again, setting up, gently pull it in, give it a nice hug, and then extend. This time we're just going to come to a neutral position, stepping that leg in, and let's repeat the process with the left leg. Pulling it in, giving a nice hug, extending the leg, leaning onto the right leg, heel down, toes up, head stays above the heart, always, always. Come back in, knee lift, squeeze it in, give it a hug. Let's do that twice more. And last time. And just come to a neutral position. Shake those legs again if you'd like. We're going to take that right arm, lift it up, bend, and we can use that left arm to just support here. We don't have to. Release that arm out and bring it across and then just hold here. Release, reaching up with the left arm, bending at the elbow. We can use that right arm to support. Reach the arm out to the side, draw it across the body and hold. And release, reach the hand straight up from the chest and hold. 
turn those fingertips toward each other. Shrug the shoulders forward, round the spine, look down. Turn the palms to face up, slowly sit up, straighten the spine. Open through the chest, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Open through the biceps. Puff that chest because you're proud of the work that you've done. Proud of the fact that you've taken time for self-care. Relax the arms down, shoulder roll. Coming into prayer, walking the hips back into our seat until you find a position that's comfortable for you. Close the eyes, take some nice slow breaths, still inhaling through the nose, but now we can exhale through the mouth. Two more nice, slow breaths here. Open your eyes. Namaste.